However, Atlantis's three engines performing perfectly. Four minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis currently traveling 5,500 miles an hour, 62 miles in altitude, almost 200 miles downrange. Four minutes of powered flight remaining. Atlantis speeding straight as an arrow toward its date with the International Space Station Sunday morning. up on the five minute mark. Atlantis now traveling 6,500 miles an hour, 66 miles in altitude, 250 miles downrange. Atlantis, press to ATO. That call indicating we can make minimal orbital targets in the event of an engine failure. All three engines continue to function normally. Atlantis will begin its slow roll to a heads-up position shortly. Five and a half minutes into the flight, Atlantis traveling 7,700 miles an hour, 315 miles downrange. Atlantis, single engine, Ops 3. And the guidance officer here in Mission Control confirms that the computers are commanding the main engines to swivel. Zaragoza 104. Okay, Zaragoza We've rolled to a heads up position now, providing better communications to the tracking and data relay satellite system as Atlantis heads uphill. Six minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis press to Miko. That call indicates that we can make our normal orbital cutoff targets in the event of an engine failure. However, all three main engines continue to function normally. Nominal. Fergie, go to plus X, go to pitch. That call indicating uh, that we will be in good shape uh, for the uh, orientation of, of Atlantis for external tank uh, photography following main engine cutoff. Now seven minutes into the flight. One minute, 20 seconds till main engine cutoff. Atlantis traveling 12,000 miles an hour. The main engines will uh, soon be throttling down once again to limit the stress on the shuttle and its four crew members to that of three times the effective gravity. Atlantis currently traveling at a speed of more than four miles a second. One minute of powered flight remaining for Atlantis. Three good main engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Approaching the eight minute mark into the flight. Atlantis now traveling more than 15,000 miles an hour. Eight minutes, 15 seconds into the flight, standing by for main engine cutoff. That'll be followed a few seconds later by the separation of the external fuel tank. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Now standing by for external tank separation. Atlantis off the tank. Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. Ohms 1 is not required. Your preliminary Ohms 2 TIG, 37 minutes. 
This is Mission Control Houston, Atlantis safely in its preliminary orbit. Following a flawless launch from the Kennedy Space Center, we'll be about two and a half minutes late at uh, 10.29 a.m. Central Time. The launch slightly delayed uh, while engineers at the Kennedy Space Center confirmed uh, the complete retraction of the gaseous vent arm at the launch pad.